So I want you guys to think about what would it look like you know, as you go into this, this next season, this next phase of your life, what would it look like to make those connections, to establish real relationships with people, maybe people who are totally different than you, different cultures, backgrounds, different everything. And how can we engage our skeptical friends in a way that isn't in your face? How can we engage our skeptical friends and, and naturally turn a conversation towards the Bible, towards the Bible's take on an important issue that you're already talking about, an important issue that we're dealing with together in this world? And when you do confront people with Scripture, make sure they know that they don't have to agree with everything you believe, just so you can be friends. And say, man, look, I'm your friend, no matter what, but let's go on a journey together as we take a look at the spiritual stuff, as we look, talk about these important issues. Because people are walking around with questions, important questions, about the most important things in life. And somebody needs to give them an answer. We need to see engagement as going beyond just responding to challenges. Because we are Christ ambassadors 24-7. So let's reflect Jesus' character in our everyday lives, even when we're not in this Q&A mode. We're not in question and answer mode. I want to close now with a quote from a Greek apologist by the name of Athenagoras. When Athenagoras wrote to the emperors in the 2nd century, he compared the lives of these, these selfish philosophers, a bunch of ivory tower guys who were just a bunch, of, a bunch of talk, and he compared their lives with everyday, regular Christians. He called them artisans, old women, who, if they are unable in words to prove the benefit of our doctrine, then, by their deeds, they exhibit the benefit arising from their persuasion of its truth. They do good works. They give to those who ask. They love their neighbors as themselves. This should be a challenge to all of us who are followers of Jesus today. To stand strong, find answers for yourself, share those answers with others, and live the ultimate apologetic. And the ultimate apologetic is your life. <laughs>